Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host, Jaden Washington of The True Podcast, bringing you guys an incredible, but yet most powerful spiritual side of video here today. And today we're going to be going over and summarizing the law of vibration and how you can use this and tap in to frequencies that put you on a vibration of your desired goal, right? And today we're going to start, you're only limited by weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. And when you hear a line like that, and you actually let it ingest into you, ingest into your mind, and, and really give it some thought, you understand that you are limited by the weakness of your attention. And you are limited by the poverty of your imagination. Not using your imagination is probably the most one of the most foolish things you can do because the imagination is that God-given power we have to create our future in our mind. And then as human beings, we can go and take the action to physically manifest that imagined desire. Now, how weakness of attention links to the poverty of imagination, if you can't actively put attention on where you want to be, you'll never get there, right? There's a difference between I will do it and having the will to do it. Or actually, no, those are simultaneously the same thing. You having the will to do it means, or you want it, or you having the will to do it means you will go and do it. Because that you're saying that you have the energy, you have the power, you have the complete control of fulfilling that which you're going to do. Right? And, and here's the thing. The law of attraction starts from the law of vibration. All right? A lot of people get this mixed up. The law of attraction, right, starts from the law of vibration. So whatever it is you want to attract, right, right, puts you on a certain frequency, which then puts you in a vibration. All of this, <clears throat> excuse me, all of this is all simultaneously working all together at the same time as you apply these methods, these concepts, right? Your mind activates brain cells and... You impact the entire universe. So this is where it kind of gets complex for some people. Understanding that your mind is not your brain. Your mind is completely different or completely separated from your body. That is something unseen, right? And your mind is connected to the entire universe in itself. And, and, and a lot of people get very, very confused when it comes to this because they don't understand the difference between their mind and their brain. But when you understand the difference between those two, you can understand how your mind is connected to everything around you and everything you experience in life. Thought waves are cosmic waves that impact all time and space. So your thoughts are impacting every thought you have, every thought you've ever thought in, in your life. In your life are cosmic waves that have impacted time and space, that have impacted the universe in some way, shape, or form. Whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not. To believe in the things you can see and touch is no belief at all. But to believe in the unseen is a triumph and a blessing. And this is very, very true because the things that you cannot see are the things that are the realest. See, people have to understand this third dimension is really an illusion, but at the same time, it's reality. And if we can come to terms with knowing that the unseen can be created into the scene, we innately consume a power that we all have with inside ourselves. Those who tell the stories rule society. So telling your own story means you're ruling your life. Executing your story means you're taking action in your life. Understanding that you're a mass of energy and you function on frequencies. Everything you do is working off a of frequency. Everything around you has a frequency. Everything. Energy functions on frequency. A frequency is a level of vibration. These are very, very key concepts, but people do not understand. People do not understand that all of these things coincide with each other. All of these things are working with each other to create things bigger, better, full of expression, everlasting expansion. 
but it's the conscious awareness that gives that power because the thought that you are everlasting, ever expanding, divine, fuels the mind, fuels the soul, fuels your action, push you on a vibration because of the frequency of that thought. And now you're enacting that vibration. You're enacting, you are becoming what you're thinking about. That's why we become what we think about. So there are infinite number of frequencies. And we all know this. We all should know this. Some people don't. But everything is energy. And that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. Very, very simple, but very, very powerful and incredible to understand. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. This is exact science. You cannot deny the science of this because it is proven. It is 100% reality. Now, you take care of the cause and the effects always take care of of itself. Let me read that again, because that may fly over your head and really ponder this idea. Let it sink in and seep and really think about what it means. You take care of the cause. The effect always takes care of itself. And this is so key because understanding that you go out and you take the action, that is the cause. Now, the effect is what happens after you have taken that action. The effect, it's inevitable. It's always going to happen. Just like you putting a pencil sharpener in the pencil sharpener or a pencil in the pencil sharpener. And when you, the cause, the cause of the pencil getting sharpened is the pencil sharpener. The effect is the pencil being sharpened. This is key. Now, if we can understand that we have five senses and with those five senses we paint pictures but we're not thinking now it is very important to understand with those five senses you are painting pictures but you're not thinking and this is very very important thinking is different now see the thinking comes in by using your higher higher faculties Your higher faculties are perception, will, reason, imagination, memory, and intuition. These are gifts. These are are God-given powers. And having the acknowledgement that this is God-given power, this is what makes us so different from everything else on this planet. This makes us the aliens, as I like to say. And by applying these higher faculties... You can now set a gauge on your happiness, on your health, and on your wealth. And these are going to determine the results that you get. Now, I like to say this because this is very, very important. The law of achievement. And where the law of achievement really gets tapped into is by repetition, right? And repetition is Honestly, one of the most important parts of success, and there are a lot of things that are important to success, but repetition of information, the action of repeating something that has already been said or written. How often are you reading your desire? How often are you seeing your desire? How often are you saying your desire? How often are you moving in your desire? These are very, very important questions to ask. But... If you're not asking them, I suggest you start asking them. Now, there's a difference between knowledge and experience, right? You can have all the knowledge in the world, but with no experience, you're nothing. But you can have the experience and you can gain knowledge from the experiences that you're in, right? And I truly believe in this. Success is 5% strategy, 95% mindset. If you have the right mindset, any strategy you take towards anything can and will work. And it's so important to understand this very line I'm about to say. These very words. 
And I suggest you go back and rewind this very part to understand that this is everything. It's all an awareness. There is a marvelous inner world that exists within us. And the revelation of such a world enables us to do so, or it enables us to do, to attain, and to achieve anything we desire within the bounds of our limits of nature. Let me read that again. There is a marvelous inner world that exists within us, and a revelation of such a world enables us to do. So the inner world which is infinite, the inner world which is the universe, the inner world which is divine, it enables us to do, to take action, to attain and to achieve anything that we desire, anything that we see, anything that we want in life. Within the bounds or limits of nature. Now, you're already rich, you're just not aware of it. That's why you're not rich. See, see, and I learned this from Bob Proctor, which is just incredible, just incredible mentor. Rest in peace to Bob Proctor. Incredible. You're not going to achieve things that you're not aware of. You're not going to experience things that you're not aware of. You're not going to get that desired thing if you're not aware of it. If you're not aware of it. Awareness. Awareness is key. Now, we really got to understand the difference between our conscious and our subconscious mind. Right? That is power in itself. Now, I want you to picture this. Picture your body... But outside of your body, what you cannot see is your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. This is power. This is energy. This is thought energy, the most powerful force known to man. Now, understanding that your subconscious mind is your feeling, is the feeling of the conscious thoughts you're thinking of. Let me say that again. Your subconscious mind is the feeling of the conscious thoughts that are happening in your mind. So your subconscious mind is putting you on a frequency based off the thoughts from your conscious mind. This is why it is so important to understand what you're thinking about and have control of your thoughts. Because the subconscious mind and the conscious mind are leading your body into the action to get the results. And this is all going, your body, your body is going to be the sum result or the byproduct of your attitude. Now, there's key things about the subconscious mind that I'm about to go over. And this, the subconscious mind and the conscious mind that I'm going to go over, and that will be the end of this one. It's a little bit longer, but it's very, very in-depth and very, very basic, but in-depth. But you can relate to this because it's at a universal level. So everyone can understand this. Your subconscious mind cannot reject and it must, reset, it must accept everything that is presented with. It's the emotional mind and it cannot determine the difference between which is real or what is imagined. Have you ever been in a dream and you're sweating in real life? You wake up and you're sweating or you're running in the dream and you wake up and you're sweating in real life. Your mind didn't know the difference between the dream and reality. That's why you were sweating. Now, the conscious mind, you have the ability to accept or reject. You have the ability to choose. The conscious mind is intellect. It originates. It's the thinking mind. It's the educated mind. And understanding those two things about the mind, the conscious and the subconscious mind, will put you ahead of 95% of people. Because the average person doesn't know the difference between the subconscious and the conscious mind. Now, understanding these differences between the subconscious and conscious mind is the key to success. And I want everyone to understand before leaving this that you are in full control of where you want to be in life. No matter what is going on in your present situation right now, you have the power to change it all. It was always inside of you. All energy, all information is evenly present throughout any time, past, present, and future. All information, all energy is evenly present. It's omnipresent. 
And this is so key because once you realize that, you know you have access to any and everything. All the good that you desire has always been here and always will be. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys found something incredible out of this. I hope you guys learned something new about yourself that you didn't see before. Because the thing is, it's not looking for the outside answers that will help you. It's looking for the things that you know are inside of you that you're searching for inside of yourself. And the outside is the verification of the inner choices you make. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this. hope you guys stay motivated, inspired. And with that being said, Godspeed. See you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.